Hey, today's book is Alan's Big Scary Teeth by Jarvis. Alan came from a long line of very scary alligators. He was known throughout the jungle for his scaring. It is what he did best. And doesn't Alan look satisfied? Alan would start each day polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing each of his big, scary teeth for at least 10 minutes at a time. And after practicing his frightening faces in the mirror, he sang. <laughs> He'd sneak into the jungle for his morning round of scaring. Alan went snap, snap, and <laughs> and he said things like, I'm a big scary Alan, fear my razor sharp teeth. He's very proud. He made frogs leap from their lily pads and monkeys tumble from the trees and parrots screech in terrible terror. Snap, snap, grrr. Eek! Wah, I love being scary, said Alan. After a long day of scaring the jungle animals, Alan would head back home to the swamp, relax, and finish the crossword in the Jungle Times. And what? <laughs> Take out his false teeth. <gasps> Nobody knew about Alan's false teeth. Good night, teeth. Sweet dreams, my theory nappers, Alan would say as he put away them carefully in his super secret hiding place. Oh, Alan. Fake teeth, really? Hmm. One morning, Barry the beaver was up early collecting wood and came across a dozing Alan. Terrified that Alan might wake up and gobble him whole, he quickly dived behind a bush. Alan's still asleep, he says, snort, snort. Phew, that was close, thought Barry, just as a set of false teeth fell out of the bush with a very familiar snap, snap. Whoa, Barry the beaver has discovered something here. When Alan awoke, his teeth were gone. My teeth, my teeth, where are all my teeth? What could he do? Maybe no one would notice? Could he still be scary without them? He decided to head into the jungle as usual. He's trying it anyway. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads and the monkeys tumble from the trees and the parrots screech. Something is different though with laughter. Alan just wasn't very scary without his teeth. He says, snap, snap, whoa. And the animals are going, ah, 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 ah. oh, really? Ah. It's our proud guy now. Alan slunk back to the swamp. He had never been more embarrassed. He came from a long line of very scary alligators. Scaring was all he'd ever known. What would Alan do now? I think of something new, I guess. Poor Alan began to cry, just a little at first, and then tears kept coming. He howled and yelled more than all the jungle babies put together, and he still could not stop crying. Do you see him in the background? He couldn't stop crying until... The next morning, when all the animals turned up at Alan's swamp with his big, scary teeth. We'll give you back your teeth, said the animals. It's like they're demanding an agreement of sorts. Well, really, said Alan. On one condition, said Parrot. You have to stop scaring us. But what will I do? I don't know how to do any, anything else. We have an idea, said Frog. Hmm. I wonder what kind of a compromise they can come to here. What kind of solution? And so every day after polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing his big scary teeth, Alan headed into the jungle and became Alan the gardener, Alan the hairdresser.
and Alan, the dentist. He's using his skills and he named his hair cutting place Snappy Cuts. But every night, he became Alan, the big, scary storyteller, thrilling the jungle animals in, with his terrifying tales. Bwahaha, said Alan. I love being scary. Wow, he's using his natural talents, isn't he? What a fun story. That's Alan. He's big, he has sharp teeth, and he loves to be scary. Thanks for listening.